is, is what has happened after the Royal Commission and what's happening in real estate space for financing? What's yeah, happened there? Great question. Uh, look, I think everyone's very familiar of how the Royal Commission's impacting personal lending specifically. I think from a business point of view, maybe things are taking a little bit longer than they have been, but arguably uh, most real estate transactions, that is buying, selling rent rolls or commercial funding, uh, there's always been a great amount of due diligence done on those mm, transactions. It so it might have heightened a little bit, but not to, but not too much. I think from a, from a funding perspective, it's definitely a focus from banks on ensuring that the transactions we're involved with are helping our clients build cash flow. Uh, yeah. We've talked uh, to no end to the market around how important recurring revenue is to your business, both in terms of insulating against the volatility of the sales market, uh, but also more importantly about the valuation of your business, given that 96% of business valuations are occurring on recur are based on recurring income. Yeah. So uh, I think from a funder's point of view, it's just ensuring that the transactions we're helping our clients with are cash flow accretive and they're going out and buying additional revenue to bol bolster their business yeah. uh, and grow their business in, in a new environment. Which is a really good point. So it's about what you what you're going out to buy is bringing in income on an ongoing basis, exactly and making right. it cash positive. Not going out there buying assets that are potentially going to take a drain on cash flow, negatively gear property, and things yep. like that. And very much focused on on uh, on acquisitions or transactions that are going to bolster cash flow and improve the yep. financial position of your business. Perfect. Cheers.